inky friends it is the fourth day of inktober i am doing a hey art nerds welcome to the fourth day of inktober i don't know if i explained this to you guys earlier but i am doing lilliputian living prompts and i am doing them in a strathmore 500 series mixed media visual art notebook and this is a cotton based paper it's actually really nice to ink on and i am inking with a pentel pigment brush pen so this is going to be waterproof sakura pigma fb waterproof and sakura micron 5 still waterproof uh i am not sure if i'm going to watercolor or ink wash these when they're finished i might i might not but i do like having options today's prompt is brewer and I have been sharing a little bit of world building description for each prompt that I've done over on my Instagram. So you can check that out at instagram.com slash Um, I do not always do super well talking and inking and I don't like talk over videos because I think um, I, the truth is I'm just too dumb to know how to do them. And I know they're pretty easy to do. I'm just too dumb and too lazy. Uh, but I also have noticed that it does cause some confusion for some viewers who think that it is real time and that people should be able to work as fast as, you know, a sped up time lapse video. So if you're wondering why I don't chat with you guys during these videos, that is why I just can't ink and talk and I don't want to talk over it. And I am doing world building for my webcomic, 7-Inch Kara, which you can read at 7inchkara.com or 7inchkara.tumblr.com. Although I have not been sharing these prompts over there because I don't want to mess up the archive. And this is probably my fifth consecutive Inktober where I will have done all of all 31 days. So maybe I should throw myself a little party or something after, I don't know. But I've been doing Inktober for a while and I really enjoy inking, although the majority of my work would not reflect that. Well, I guess it would since a lot of those field tests I do for you guys are inked first. But I really love Inktober because it's an opportunity for me to try new things, record some bonus videos and maybe share some new techniques with you guys. So if you've been enjoying my Inktober time lapses so far, I recommend you check out some of my other inky playlists and I really hope it'll inspire you to try something new and out of your wheelhouse this year. Inking can take a lot of practice. It's a skill that you hone and I don't want anyone to be discouraged because they're seeing people on YouTube or on Instagram or on Twitter doing these beautiful pieces and their own just don't look like that. It's something that takes time and I think it's worth the time investment. And you can, of course, ink digitally, but I would love to encourage you guys to try traditional or vice versa. If you do traditional art, I'd love to encourage you to give digital a try. This year I learned how to use Clip Studio Paint and it is much easier than Photoshop for inking. So I just always want to encourage and inspire you guys to try something new and try something different. So I am just tightening this illustration up a little bit. I don't want to have to guess all my details in ink. The way I usually do Inktober is I will do a sketch for the next day's illustration in the morning and then I'll ink that day's piece. So this is today's piece. I'm just, like I said, tightening it up. And then this is tomorrow's piece.
Okay, so I think I am about ready to get started. I will also be using this clear acrylic ruler. I picked this up at Muji, but these are getting increasingly easy to find and I really, I really like it. I really like how it handles and uh, I think it makes inking uh, straight lines a lot easier. So I would recommend getting one yourself. So I hope you guys will enjoy today's Inktober time-lapse and I hope you guys will try Inktober out for yourselves.